How's it going YouTube? Sam and Sauce here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make an ice cream shop in Minecraft step by step. So let's not waste any time, let's just go right into it. These white lines on the ground is going to be the dimensions for the ice cream shop and this is 10 this way and 18 this way. So 10 by 18 rectangle. That's right, I counted it beforehand so I don't have to count it on camera because I don't want to waste your time. I don't want to waste your time counting each block one by one. So instead I'm just going to waste your time by telling you guys that I don't want to waste your time. Because that just seems much more efficient. So the main block that I plan on using for this is going to be white terracotta. And we're just going to start filling it out. Also, there's going to be a side entrance. What the hell is a polar bear doing here? So we're going to have a side entrance here for the employees, and basically the customers are going to order over here on this side. There's four blocks on this side of the entrance and five here. That's actually kind of annoying. Let's make it symmetrical. I'm making this up as we go, by the way. For my other tutorials, I've always had it where I basically made it beforehand and then I just copy the build for the tutorial but we're gonna do it a little differently this time and we're just gonna make it up as we go and we'll see if it ends up great or if it ends up terrible I might change my mind while in the middle of building this about something so be ready for that too I'm thinking we should make it around six or seven blocks high let's see one two three four five six how is that I think six is good. I think we could do that. I usually like filling in the corners first because then I can decide how I'm going to make the windows afterward. So just to get like a rough outline of how we're going to make this thing. Other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the walkway over here up to where you're going to order from. That way you're not stepping on grass while you're ordering your ice cream. We're going to break that part right there, and we're going to put bone as a countertop. So I'm choosing a pretty plain color for the walls. So what we're going to do to spice it up a little on the inside is we're going to use some glazed terracotta, and we're going to use the white glazed terracotta, and we're going to make a nice floor pattern out of it. So these are the two patterns. I have no idea why there's so many polar bears here. I really don't know how they keep getting here. You could pick whichever one of these two that you like. I, I really like both of them. They both look really nice, but I really like how the blue's in the middle for this one. The one with like the sun looking thing is really nice, but I think I'm going to go with this one. As you could see, I surrounded it with quartz pillars. It's facing upwards in the corners and it's facing to the side uh, on the sides. So I'm basically just going to copy this pattern for the whole floor. And then over here for the doorway, instead of doing like a half version of this, we could just put some more quartz pillars and we'll put the door on top of that. Then going back to the outside, we're going to take a smooth quartz slab and we're going to surround this top part over here with it. Then once you did that, you're also going to put more quartz slabs over here. I'm going to go back to the doorway because we already know the doors are two by two. So we're going to make a little doorway over here and I'm going to use a birch door just to go with the light colored theme that we have going on over here. Then at the top of the doorway, we're going to take two blocks over here and two blocks over here. Next, we're going to lower this top part a little bit in the front where you're going to order. Another thing that we could do is we could just start making a little uh, like cover for all the customers to order over here from just in case it's raining because we want our customers to continue buying from us even while it's raining. It's all about the customer. And I'm going to make the poles out of birch because that's what we did for the door. So we're just going to keep that birch theme going. I'm going to have the poles over here too. And it's basically going to cover the entire walkway. So right where you're putting the fence, you're going to want to break the slab and put the fence over here. And then we're going to connect all the fences together like this. And we're going to fill this whole area with string. 
we're going to get rid of this quartz slab and this one and then you're going to take smooth quartz stair and we're going to put it upside down like this that way it connects to the fence and we're actually going to do the same exact thing over here and then the same thing on the other side and then we're going to take some white carpet make stripes like this Yeah, I think I'm going to go with light blue, especially because the white glazed terracotta has that light bluish type of color in it already. So I feel like it works the best. Let's just finish up the roof since we were already doing that before. Uh, we're going to use some dark colored wood because this sort of looks like, I don't know, it kind of looks like a cup of vanilla ice cream. And maybe we could have it so it's like chocolate syrup. So I'm thinking a nice dark colored log. I don't really like using planks. Maybe, yeah, let's use dark oak, not log, let's, this one, dark oak wood. Sorry, stripped dark oak wood, this one, because the log is like open on the side and we don't want that. This cover doesn't look super realistic, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to banners and we're just going to take some plain white banners and we're going to surround the sides with it like this that way our customers have some nice shade from the sun while they're ordering and the sun's not beaming on their head maybe you could have three separate windows that you could order from we'll get rid of the bone over there and then we'll make these uh, pillars of white terracotta in the middle of each a row. And we're also going to put some white terracotta behind the fence over there. I'm going to go with plain clear glass over here. We could do some tinted glass on the sides. And maybe we'll go one block lower and we'll leave a little one by two window just for handing the ice cream out. Then we're going to separate each counter out. And again, we're going to use bone and this time we're going to place it vertically and watch this we're going to take some trap doors i love using trap doors i'm going to take some dark oak trap doors and we're going to surround that block of bone and this is just going to be a little counter I'm going to have napkins and stuff on it we'll take some dark oak stairs we'll place it right up here and then we're going to take lanterns and put it on top then we're going to take some dark oak signs and we could put it up here now I'm going to go back to the roof because it does look a little bit flat and my friends always say whenever I use the dark oak trap doors that it looks like chocolate and listen, what better building for it to look like chocolate. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go one block in from the side of this and we're just going to go around surrounding it with this. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, this is the middle. And we're going to make the ice cream cone on top of the building over here. So we're going to take some iron bars to make it look like this is what's supporting it. Then we're going to take some sandstone stairs. Uh, we'll take not smooth sandstone. That way it kind of looks like a waffle cone if you use your imagination. And we're going to go around putting it upside down like this. And I have white concrete, but I think quartz is going to look better just because it has more of a, I don't know, just looks a little more ice cream-ish to me. And to add a little bit more dimension, we're going to get some smooth quartz stairs. Let's put it upside down over here like this. This is going to give it a lot more dimension. And then we could put more stairs on the top. What I'm going to do instead is we're going to take a sandstone wall and we're going to put that over here instead. Like that. That looks a lot better. I like having all my windows placed strategically. That's why I always leave the windows for last. I want to decide where everything is going to be. And once I've decided that, then we could decide where we're going to put all the windows. I guess we could have the ice cream dispenser thing. The thing that they do, the little swirly, I don't know what that's called. But we could put that over here. So we're going to have another counter. We're going to do four blocks wide of bone. 
And then we are going to, we should probably cover up the wall behind it. See this, this is why we have to do the inside before we do the windows, because we don't want to have a window with the dispenser right on the other side of it. And I also don't like having windows in the corner actually. So dark oak trapdoor, and we're just going to put it on the sides of the counter like this. And then just to make the counter look, I don't know, give it a little, a little more dimension, a little bit more life, we're going to take some more dark oak, this time signs, and we're going to put it over here in the front, sort of, so it's like cabinets, you know? Then we're going to take a hopper, because I feel like this kind of resembles ice cream dispenser. And we're just going to put four next to each other like that. And then we're going to take levers and we're going to put it against the wall. So now it looks like when you pull the lever, ice cream comes out. And then maybe we could just put some flavors up here. So we could do white for vanilla. Actually, no, I'm, I'm going to do, I'm going to do smooth quartz for vanilla. And then we're going to go to concrete and I could do brown for chocolate, pink for strawberry and I don't know, maybe green for mint. So then I'm gonna go back to signs and this time I'm gonna use birch and I'm just gonna surround it with birch signs. Again, just to give it a little more dimension, make it come more to life. I'm thinking we should have two uh, refrigerators slash freezers in here. Um, they have ice cream, so they need to keep this stuff as cold as possible. So we're going to need two big ones. And I have a really nice fridge design. I can't wait to show you guys this. So you're going to want to go to concrete, get yourself some light gray concrete. And I think I'm just going to line it up with these windows. So we're going to put it here, lined up with that window. And we're going to put it here, lined up with this window. Actually, no, sorry. Let's line it up with the two on the sides, like this. Maybe we could have a sink in the middle. And then we're going to go up by, we're going to make it three blocks, so two by three, like this. And again, we don't want to have a window behind the refrigerator, so we're just going to take more white terracotta and put it behind it. I hope I don't get fined for littering. So we're going to take some gray banners and light gray banners. And what we're going to do here on the top, we're going to put two light gray banners. And on the bottom, we're going to put two regular gray banners. And same thing with this one. That way it looks kind of like the doors. And then we have a separate drawer on the bottom. Then we're going to take iron bars. And we could just put it over here to make it look like a handle. Then... That's right, there's more. We're going to go to trapdoors. We're going to take some iron trapdoors and we're going to put it on top like this. Now that is how you make refrigerators slash freezers. And actually, you, you could still do even more. I'm going to go down to buttons. We're going to take a stone button. And we're not going to do that. Do not put that in the video. I like using cauldrons with water in it as a sink. And we're also going to need some more countertops. So we're going to take more bone and we're going to put that in between the freezers and the sink like this. And we are going to want some more cabinets and we want, I'm going to make it look a little bit different again. We're going to take some birch trap doors and we're going to put it on the side like this. Now that we have a basic idea of what we have on the inside, we can decide where we want the windows. I don't want a window over here right next to the freezer. So we're going to put some blocks over there like that. Same thing on this side. And then just to give the window a little bit more dimension instead of making it a plain rectangle, we're going to put white terracotta there in the corners. Then I'm going to take some white glass panes and I'm going to fill it out with this. That way we keep the stupid polar bears out. Another idea you guys could do, make the window look like that. And then we could scroll down over here, take a tripwire hook and put it over here to make it look like a faucet. And there's one more thing we could actually do to make the sink look even nicer. So you're gonna want to go and get, where is it? forgot what it was called. Yeah, the loom. We're going to get a loom. And then you're going to get a white banner. You're going to get some white dye and some light gray dye. And you're going to put the banner into the loom. And you're going to want to get this striped design. 
and then we're going to put light gray. Then we're going to take that, we're going to put it back into the loom. And this time we're doing the same stripe design, but with white. So now there's a very, very faint striped mark on it. And then we're going to put that on the cauldron like that to make it look like towels. I know it's a very small detail, but this is how you make your design come to life. You really need to pay attention to the details like this. Then I'm going to take a white carpet and put it next to the sink to make it look like any equipment that you just washed and you want to put it there, let it dry off. We're going to take some chests and I guess we're going to use these chests to be, I don't know, like cash registers. I'm not, I haven't gotten to that point. I don't know how to make cash registers yet. So if you have an idea for how to make cash registers, feel free to leave that down in the comment section. Then in the middle, we're going to have we're going to put some cauldrons over here. I'm going to put eight. You guys could put more, but I don't want it to be too cramped up in here. Then I'm going to take bones and place them vertically on the sides as a little countertop. And th this is basically going to be where all the ice cream flavors are laid out. And then we're going to take some carpets for all the different flavors. So we just basically put a bunch of different colors to represent different ice cream flavors. By the way, you have to crouch to put this stuff on the cauldrons, just in case you didn't know. Same thing with the towels that I put here, in, in case you were having trouble with that. And then I'm just going to take more of the bird trapdoors and surround this whole thing, including the cauldrons. I do think I like the openings we have here for windows, so I'm just going to go ahead and put some white glass over here. Close that off. Then we're going to put an armor stand next to the door. So it's, I don't know, like a coat rack for the employees. Let's finish up the ceiling. So we're going to take some smooth quartz slabs and we're going to surround the edges of the ceiling with this. And we need some, we need to have some lights on the inside too. So I'm going to use the pearlescent frog light has a slight purplish tint and I'm going to match this up with the windows again. So it's going to be in the middle. So it's going to be just like this. And remember that the frog lights are directional. So make sure you look directly up at the wood when you're placing them, because if you put it to the side, you're going to get a different design. It's barely noticeable, but it, it's, it's better that they're all facing the same direction. And then we're going to put three sets of them again, lined up with the windows. And it does look a little bit awkward. So now we're going to take some smooth white. We're going to take some smooth quartz stairs and we're going to surround it with that. But don't put it in the corners. Just put it on the sides like this. And then we're going to take some smooth sandstone and we're going to fill out the rest of this area with that. Actually, here's here's what else we're going to do. We're going to take the smooth quartz slabs and right where you put the stairs, you're going to put the smooth quartz slabs right next to it, just like this. And that's our ceiling. And look how much more natural the lights look this way. Much better, makes it look a lot brighter in here. And I'm going to take more white glass. Since, since these are the only open spots left, let's just have a couple more windows over here on the side. And that's all of our windows now. Now we need some drawers for more materials. So I'm just going to put that over here in this corner. Just chests three blocks high. Just some cabinets of extra materials. And we'll do the same thing on this side too. And then we're going to take some smooth quartz stairs again. We're going to put it right over here next to the windows. And that pretty much does it for the inside. So all that leaves now is to add some more details on the outside and then we're pretty much done with this thing. So if you look at the outside, it, it still looks pretty plain. Definitely still needs some more dimension. So we're going to spice it up, especially in the back. We're going to spice it up with some trapdoors. So we're just going to have a little column of trapdoors over here, two away from the corner on each side. That way we give it a little bit more life and we're going to break that and we're going to do the same thing on this side. And then we're going to take some smooth quartz stairs and put it upside down on either side of our trapdoor column like this. 
Next, we are going to take some quartz pillars. And it would look really nice if we put these in the corners over here like this. And just to give it a little bit more dimension, we're going to go get some more uh, smooth quartz stairs. And what we're going to do, we're going to break those two blocks. So leave the bottom two of the pillar, leave the top two. And we're just going to indent it just like that, just to give the building some more dimension. Then we're going to take some birch signs and put it on top of the door. I think that pretty much does it for the building itself. Then we're going to take some large ferns. I really like the mangrove leaves, so we're going to use some mangrove leaves, tall double grass, and then we're going to take some flowers. We're going to use a lot of lilacs and rose bush maybe. You know what? We could put some daisies on here as well. And we're just going to surround this building with a bunch of plants and make it look make it come to life more. But that's pretty much it for this building. All that's left now is I'm going to add some more seats over here on the dock, over there on the grass, and it's going to make this whole area look so much better. So I'm just going to show you guys once I'm finished making that. All right, now I finished putting all the plants and all the seats surrounding it. So let me show you guys how it looks now. Take a look how much better it looks now that I surrounded it with all this stuff. Look at all the seats with the umbrellas right by the water. Look at the trees that I added and look at all the plants, the benches over there on the grass. This is what makes your builds come to life. It's not just the structure itself, it's what you surround it with. And eventually I'm going to do similar stuff like this around this entire little island over here. If you guys enjoyed this content, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can see as soon as the next video comes out, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you all for watching and have yourselves a splendid day.